Right, first though, the Times are reporting tonight that Manchester City have launched legal action against the Premier League over what they claim are unlawful financial rules. The action by City is separate to the 115 charges that they're facing, but they could have a huge impact on the outcome of that hearing to come. As you can see, Calvary Solica, our chief reporter, joins me now. So look, first of all, what's the basis of City's argument then? Well, I think first of all, we should say that this is a very... Uh good exclusive story by Matt Lawton mm. uh, in The Times and what he's been reporting uh, this afternoon is really unprecedented. We've got a situation where a Premier League club, Manchester City, the champions of the Premier League, are basically suing the Premier League. And what Manchester City are going to argue at this uh, arbitration hearing, which will start on Monday, is that some of the Premier League's financial rules are unlawful and they are incompatible with UK competition law. Okay. And the rules they're talking about are the associated party transaction rules. Now, these were brought in in 2021, and they're designed to make sure that if a club signs a commercial deal with a company that is linked to its owners, that deal has to be of fair value. And that is checked to make sure that it's of fair value. So if you're the owner, of a Premier League club and you have another company, say an airline or an energy company, mm -hmm. and you want to get that airline or energy company to sponsor your club because that is a good way of bringing revenue into your club. Mm. You have connections with that other company. That deal has to be checked by independent auditors to make sure that it is of fair value. So you can't just make up a number and say the deal is worth 100, 200, 300 mm. million pounds as a way of bringing money into your club. It has to be a fair value. And what Manchester City are going to argue is that these associated uh, party transaction rules are unlawful. And obviously, this could have big, serious ramifications for the future competitive balance of the Premier League. OK, talk us through what, what effect this is going to have on the 115 alleged breaches of their financial rules then? Well, how will this affect that case? Well, I mean, they are two separate things. OK. Uh, the 115 charges, uh, those are charges that have been brought by the Premier League against Manchester City uh, for allegations that they have broken the Premier League's financial rules over mm. 12 or 13 years. Now, the hearing into those charges is set for November. But obviously, a lot of those charges are also to do with sponsorship deals. Mm. Uh, deals that were done with companies who are connected to the owners of Manchester City. So if Manchester City win this case, which starts next week, I think that would blow a big hole mm. in the Premier League's case at the hearing in November about the 115 charges because... Manchester City would have argued successfully next week that some of these rules are unlawful and incompatible with UK competition law. Look, Carvey, and you may not know the answer to this question, but I'm just putting it out there for somebody that's kind of seeing this from, from so many different sides. Do you think the Premier League saw this coming at all? Or because, because obviously this 115 charges against them has taken a very long time time. So do you think they, they saw this coming at all, this 165-page dossier of, of, of which Matt Lawton says he's seen? Yeah, I don't think it's come totally out of the blue. OK. Uh, because I think uh, we were told at a Premier League shareholders meeting, uh, off the top of my head, I think it was in March, okay. that a Premier League club was launching legal action against the Premier League. So it hasn't totally come out of the blue, but we certainly did not have all the details mm. that Matt Lawton uh, has provided today. You know what the bigger picture is, though? The bigger picture is an argument about ownership of Premier League clubs. Mm. And the argument is, if you're the owner of a Premier League club, should you be allowed to put in as much money as you want? Some people will argue, why not? Mm. Club... Otherwise, what's the point of buying a Premier yeah, League the, club? Yeah, the, the club yeah. belongs to you. If you want to buy Kylian okay. Mbappe, if you want to buy Messi and Neymar, and you've got the money to do it, and you can make it work financially, why shouldn't you be able to do that? That is one side of the argument. For instance, Jack Walker, when Blackburn Rovers uh, won the Premier League, he went out 
and spent as much money as he wanted buying players like Alan Shearer, for instance, mm -hmm. and winning the title. Mm. Now, under the new financial rules, that is no longer possible. So the other side of the argument is that, yes, of course, you should have these financial rules because otherwise you're going to have a situation where the rich are going to get richer mm -hmm. and they're going to win everything. So you need to have some semblance of competitive balance. And that's why we have these financial rules. But also what's going to be interesting at this hearing that starts next Monday is the Premier League have also asked the clubs in the league to be involved in the hearing as well. So according to Matt Lawton, some of them have been providing witness statements and he believes that between 10 and 12 are on the side of the Premier League. So they will be standing up for these financial rules. But that obviously means that there could be up to eight clubs who want to get rid of these associated party transaction rules. And we've now got the situation where so many Premier League clubs are owned by, um, you know, state connected owners, uh, trust funds, private equity firms, that they want to be able to put more money into their clubs. And they believe that a lot of these financial rules are holding them back. OK, Carve, thank you very much. No doubt this story will rumble on a little bit more, but thank you for now.